Hey, how you doing? Welcome to Unboxing with Marty. Today's video is going to be unique. Uh, first and foremost, up front, this is not going to be an instructional video. This is just a video that I'm going to have some fun with. Uh, uh, if you can see what I got here on the table, I got a 512 uh, gigabyte uh, solid state drive. I've got this kit with some suction cups and some tools. I think when you see this, some of you are going to know where this is going. I got a couple of these little uh, suction cups. And here I've got a, uh, well, it's called an adhesive strip kit. So I'll open that when I need it. And of course I have my 2017 iMac. Um, now, a heads up again, I'm gonna say this is gonna be an advanced install. So again, don't look at this as instructional. Again, I'm gonna say, hey, Let's just see if Marty can pull this off and see if Marty can uh, swap out the, uh, the drive for a solid state drive. Um, this is going to involve me removing the display. I'm going to have to pry this off. There's going to be a risk of me actually cracking the display. You know, how's that happening? Well, I've never done this before, so let's see what happens. That being said, uh, probably now, if you want to give it some thought, it might be a good time to subscribe to this channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and you enjoy the videos on this channel, click that subscribe button. All right, let me get started with this. This uh, glass display is held on by some adhesive tape of some sort. I'm going to slowly uh, cut this off. There's going to be a risk that uh, I might crack this glass display and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to take my time. You don't want to push out on the glass. You don't want to push out on the glass when you cut it away just cut through the tape. So let's see how that works out. Okay, there's supposed to be two kits here. So obviously, here's one kit. Here's a second kit. And there should be two kits. So let's get started. All right, here's the tool. So I'm supposed to start near the bottom. Slowly insert it in. Don't press against the glass. I'm gonna probably do this a couple of times because like I said, I've never done this before. over that a second time because it does seem like it pushed out a little bit. I might be doing this too much, but why not be 100%? Lay that's on its back. I'm going to start to lift it up. See if it comes up. Make sure it's coming up good. Oh yeah, that flip tape there is still stuck. Good. Looks good here. I think we're good here. Now I'm supposed to look for a couple of cables here. Oh, where are they? Ah, I see them. Okay. You know, I'm going to move the camera so you can see this a little bit better. So hold on. Okay. I moved the camera so you can see better. So as you can see here, I've got that attached there and I've got this attached here. So I've got two suction cups there and I'm going to use this light to light it up so you can see better. So I'm going to lift up carefully on the suction cups. Now oh, you can see it. This one's supposed to just pull out. There you go. Pull up. See this little plastic thing? I don't know if you can see it. There you go. See it comes up. And we pull this out. There you go. I think we should be able to lift this up carefully. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little tab here. I'm supposed to just be able to pull that towards the center slowly. Okay, it's one. There should be another one over on this side. I see it. Pull it towards the center. I think I got most of it. Might just have to cut it a little bit. I 
and I should be able to just lift this off now. There you go. Let's remove the original hard drive. So, gonna prepare the new drive. I think what I'm ready to do now is to get the drive in. I'm gonna loosen this here and this here. Move this up, slide it out a little bit, uh, just to make more room so I can get into this uh, connector here. So. I'm not gonna, I'm not kidding you. This, this was the hard part. Trying to get your fingers in here and pry it in. Uh, this to me was a lot more tougher than removing the display. But it is in the uh, SATA connector is connected. Now I'm gonna put the speaker back in place and let's continue. Okay, I'm going to install this drive retainer. Make sure I'm not pinching those, those um, little wires there. I want to make sure I'm not pinching those. So let's... Now the, uh, let's install this retainer. Looks good. Short screw goes over first, it's by the fan. Okay, my next step is I'm just gonna go ahead and clean off the rest of this tape here. And then I'm gonna go clean off the, if there's, a, if there's any tape on the display, I'm gonna clean that off. Look closely here, down here at the bottom, just to the right of the Apple logo is the microphone for this device. Be sure to research the location of your microphone. Why? This is why. When you adhere the tape, look closely again. This is where the microphone should be, but the tape covers it up. You will need to remove a small portion of the adhesive tape here so the microphone is available. When applying the adhesive tape, take your time. First, work your way all the way around the iMac applying the underneath. Then when you're ready, return and remove the white portion or the top of the uh, double-sided adhesive tape. When attaching the display, make sure these two corners are lined up. And don't forget to connect those two cables. Got it. And when you're ready, carefully and slowly lower that display. Now just pat down the edges just to make sure the adhesive has a good contact. To help that adhesion, uh, I might just uh, place the uh, iMac glass side down on a smooth, flat, soft surface for several hours, maybe even six hours, to help that adhesion out further. Now that we're done with this, you'll need to format and install your Mac OS. That should bring this video to an end. And as always, I hope this uh, was a benefit for you. I certainly enjoyed making this video. And as always, thank you for watching.